All right, so first up in the summer anime of 2021 is going to be Higarashi When They Cry So it's so this is the sequel of the Higarashi anime that aired a few seasons back and I really enjoyed it. That was my first interaction with the Higarashi series as a whole. I never watched the original Higarashi, so I kind of came into that season not knowing anything and to be honest it was pretty confusing in the beginning, but as I watched it and watched it even more, I came to understand what it was about. Uh, I never read or played, I think, the visual novel of Umineko either. So apparently that's a little bit more important to understand the story than the original Higarashi. But not having known anything about that either, this series has been a uh, learning experience to say the least. So Satoko and Rika, the two characters that are stuck in these time loops, and Satoko is seemingly the new main character, or at least she was towards the end of last season. Let's see where they pick back up from. So we've got this guy. This is how season one literally started. Rina. Got Mion. Got Satoko. And we got Rika. You will never escape June of 1983. God damn, dude. The mind games that Satoko is playing and how just sinister she became. It's wild. I'm eager to see the opening and ending because it had really good uh, opening and endings last time. Bro, damn, I kind of miss her trap. She's always setting these goddamn traps. Fucking annoying as hell, though. Creating multiple and snare your helpless enemy. Literally, she's talking about Rika and she doesn't even know it. Literally talking about her and how much traps and webs she's placing for Rika. Damn, fucking got him, dude. How many times have we seen this exact same scene last season? We've seen this scene before, though. This is when they go to that trash pile and they... Yeah. Hopefully they don't show too much of this old stuff. Hopefully they just like kind of skip through it a little bit. Dude, she's gonna fucking kill him right now. Bro... We never got anything last season of about the life of Rina. So now it's like whoa. So is this part going to be about Rina this whole season? I wonder. Oh. What? Oh, that is fucking weird. That's why she dropped the eye? What? What is that? A check? Oh no, a gentleman's club? Oh, So it's not even like a girl he was seeing, it's literally just like a person from a gen gentleman's club. Dude, she's gonna kill her dad, isn't she? So basically they're showing a lot of the scenes from the previous season from the perspective of Rina. That's what I'm getting from this. So how the first part of last season kind of focused on Rika and then we switched over to Satoko's POV. And now we're on Tarina, I guess. You know when it when uh when it gets quiet and you hear the uh, birds, you know that's when shit's about to pop off. Oh my gosh, bro! Oh, she's about to inject her with the thing. Okay. So this is what causes Rina to go fucking kill Keiji from the beginning. It was all Satoko doing it. So she basically started it all? Fuck, dude. Evil. Oh, he went to Okinomiya. Did he fucking run a... Oh, it's beginning. Is this... So did he take the money and run away with the, uh, the woman? Yo, that's gonna send her over the edge, man. The man who came with us today. Is that her mom? Oh, why would you ask that? Damn. Damn, she's going crazy. Wow, we did not know anything about this. Oh, shit, yo, she got mad as hell. So she, she's leaving her dad because she wanted to marry someone else? I mean, we don't know the whole story yet. Clearly, we don't know the whole story yet. 
Is she pregnant? Oh my god, she's pregnant with his kid. With the guy's... <laughs> What the f Bro, slapping your child and then hugging them right after is kind of like really messed up. That's trauma inducing. I shouldn't have been nice to him. Oh my god, dude. Rena's backstory might be the most insane shit ever. I mean, Softicles is like really bad too, but holy shit. I should have shut him because he was his best. Our family wouldn't have broken apart. Holy shit. Oh my god. So this is the coffee shop right across from the place, so they probably either have went to that gentleman's club or they're going thereafter. Um, that's the girl. God damn. Oh, she's gonna kill her. Oh, I'm... S hey, man. Hey, man. Rip, rip to you, rip, rip to you. Oh, dude, she's in. The, she's going through it. That that shit coursing through her her blood is killing her right now. That's it. Holy shit, that was episode one. Okay, but good thing we have an episode two. Okay, guys, that was episode one of Higurashi when they cry. So it's the second part of the previous Higurashi season we got, and this time it seems like we're following Rina's path we're following her story so if last season was about rika and uh, satoko this time around it's about rena and so we're seeing the effects of everything that happened how it affected her getting more of her backstory getting more of her backstory with her parents just characterizing her a lot more from last season one thing i would say is that we didn't get a lot for like Mion, shion uh keichi even and uh of course rena it was mainly satoko and rika and so now that we are getting more about Rina, it just makes me think we're going to learn even more about the other characters as well. And so we see how Satoko injected Rina with the virus. I'm going to call it a virus because it pretty much is a virus. It basically caused her to spiral out of control and, you know, start this bloodbath that's about to begin. Honestly, not much more to say about it, to be honest. Uh, I guess one thing, let me know if I do need to read Umi Neko or play a visual novel to fully understand what's going on. Or I guess just let me know what I need to actually watch or read to get a better understanding. Because the only thing I've watched is the last season that came out. I don't know if the old Higurashi is necessary because this was marketed originally as a remake. But this is obviously not a remake. This is kind of a new story. Yeah, let me know. Let me know down below. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Uh, I'm going to dive right into episode 2 after this. So we'll get more. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. Let me know what you guys thought. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.